Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k in Crisis of Prophecy. Got the title right there. Anyhow, um, we will now go on with the Edict of Termination. Um, we tried out the last episode which did not work out at all. But well, that sometimes just happens. So, next up, a little purge against some Rebel Guard guys. Again, summary, execution ordered by the Imperial Commissariat have led to mutiny and desertion in the Astro Materium. Traitors linked to the incident have escaped, leaving a trail of smoldering corpses. Pharaoh Nome sniffles. Oh, smoldering. Okay, I thought that was one. Was one sentence, smoldering corpses. Pheromone sniffers have tracked them to a hideout. A pheromone sniffer stocks the rot. Anyhow, or does initiate purgative protocols. Xenos, demons, heretics. Enact the Emperor's will and purge the universe of their taint. Let hatred be our shield, and their blood our salvation. Will do, will do. So, for a longer time, we did not play a purge, especially um, paired off. Oh my god, we are nearly dead. That should not happen. Of course, the damage output on the snap is a little higher since it is a 68 mission. But where were we? Um, good indeed there we just need to be a little bit more careful so what i wanted to say in the beginning of course is that we have not played approach in a longer while so it is nice to be back on some kind of like this map to be honest very very neat and i should be a little bit more careful with those traps to be honest um i think on this kind of map it can be very very nasty if i oversee a skull and then in the end it's very very you know tight corners tight tight quarters yes that's what i want to say and it's very very hard to maneuver for our constructs which then oftentimes can lead to a total utterly destruction of all little guys and in the end we don't have any constructs anymore trouble some it is for us so carefulness is one top priority what i of course hope that there are, there are not going to be more and more trap bolters on the map well trap bolters in the end are not that hard to fight against but as i always say trap flamers on the other hand are the nasty combination there to clumped up constructs are of course very very easy to deal with for flamers in the end so we need to resummon 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 so not too too much damage is going to big guys out there i should have focused on the trash mobs do you know that i should have done that but shame on me there Okay, these guys are gunners as well. And maybe we take down those guys. Maybe that is going to work out. Yes, nice. Good, good, good. On it goes. Um, good enough that on the minimap we see um, where our actually enemies are lurking around and where not. That's what's helping out a lot. So, fun fact, that was actually a map where we could resummon the character from Rengar. We have often time, of course, often I again thought that would be a target. Um, we had problems resummoning it because we did not have enough or the right amount of data plugs there. But, well, sometimes you just need to be lucky over the course of a episode. Okay, this guy down. And this guy downed as well. Rocket launcher or trap launcher is not bad. Um, still, well, yeah, it has AoE damage as well, but it's, I think, not as hard to deal with as a flame up, of course. Okay, I'm in the way. That is not neat as well. 
Okay, he just exploded like that. And we are nearly at the end of this map. That is, well, not what I liked, to be honest with you. I thought since purchase are most times the longer maps, because you, you know, need to go through the complete map, that of course this... Perseverance favors the bull. Give them more death. Only one target remains that should be possible. Are you kidding me? Okay. One shot killed us. I think the problem there was that I was staying on the ground. I should have um, tried to move out of the way and then he would have not killed us at all. Very, very powerful weapon. I, as it's a eradicator, but honestly, um, tabletop wise, I do not know what kind of weapon that is in the tabletop game. So my theory, guys, my theory with taking, um, with taking the not uh, taking no tarot cards, that was not the deal. Today is a good day. No explosion. Okay. Um, so that the tarot cards had a influence on the spawning of the desired target. That was nuts, a nutsy idea. And as I said before, um, that would have been completely stupid game design as well. And I would not imagine that one developer out there would actually do idiotic, idiotic stuff like that. That would have been um, out of my mind. Okay, we quickly now go through the items we have received here and obviously not too too much at all okay that's too bad but guys that right now leads us to the end of this episode and as usual you know it i really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye